Hi, my name is Todd, I'm from Berwick Mitsubishi and I'd like to show you our 2006 Kia Sportage that we have in, in stock now. Now, firstly, uh, this vehicle is one of our fresh arrivals, it's been here for a very short time. So, what you see here is a perfect example of a 2006 vehicle with only very, very low mileage being 60,000 Ks. Now, as you can see here, looking with the presentation of the vehicle, very, very minor evidence of wear and tear. Um, from a distance back here, obviously very minimum to see. Um, what we love about these particular cars is the fact that they come with the alloy wheel and the way we like to present our cars is the condition of the tyres. This tyre here I'd say would probably be 90-95% tread, um, followed by the back. So whoever's had this vehicle has obviously cared for the vehicle. We haven't done much to it apart from obviously the internal roadly wise, but externally wise this is actually how it was presented to us. Now, if I had to point out any, any say, any marks for the vehicle, again, hard to see, but if you notice there, very, very minor evidence scratches there, which you're generally gonna get that with a second-hand car. However, by the time that we sell the vehicle, we've got options of touch-up, little touch-ups, and look, same, same here. That's obviously evident of a little mark. Now, it, it's not a bad example for me to have to go in far like that to try and point out marks. As you can see, it's been a well-maintained vehicle for us. Um, and again, this side, this is the main side you get in and out of with the curbs, condition of the alloy wheels. A lot of these modern cars these days do have an evidence of a lot of scratches and dents. This particular one, again, there's just no evidence of anything that really would affect this vehicle at all. Um, so look, with, with this vehicle overall presentation, the body, I, I can't fault it presentation of tyres, alloy wheels and everything. Honestly, I'd have to say this is one of the better trades we've had and being a vehicle that's eight years old, I'd, I'd have to give it look at close to a nine and a half out of 10 only because it's not a new vehicle. All right, now secondly, I like to go to the engine bay. The engine bay is a, a very, very good place to start to see whether the body and the motor is consistent with the vehicle. As you can see here, the main things we like to look for when we're valuing a vehicle, whether we keep the vehicle or trade it is Along the sides here, if you can see, this is genuine. So there's been no shifter marks or spanner marks anywhere near the vehicle. So very, very good opportunity to say this car has never been involved in any collision, any damage whatsoever on the front of it. Now, if you'd like to zoom into the engine here, this particular vehicle is a 2006 Kia Sportage. Now it's a six cylinder, so it's a V6 six cylinder. It runs a 2.7 litre engine, which produces around the 129 kilowatts or 241 newton meters of torque. Now it runs by a four speed automatic box. Now this, this car also has what they call a four by four component with it. So you can run it on the road and obviously have a lot of fun off road which is why this model was a very, very popular model in its time. Now, with the size of the engine being a 2.7, it offers you a low mileage in a V6 using an average fuel consumption combined of 10 litres per 100 kilometres. Now, it holds a 65 litre tank, and going with everyday driving, you should get approximately 650 k's out of the vehicle. So for us, um, look, one of the better ones we've had so far in a V6 range. Um, with the V6 engine, once again, it allows us to, to have a tow bar, which I'll point out later on down the track, that the tow bar points out to be a 1500 kilogram tow capacity. So you're talking about for the small nomads who want to go up to Queensland, it's great. And I'd like to point out, particularly on the back of the vehicle, this particular um, thing is a tow bar. Now this would be a 1500 kg tow bar with the round seven pin flat plug towing capacity. So, like I said before, great for towing small camper vans and options like that. Now, one thing we love about these vehicles here is there's a lot of particular times there's the option of a glass, which allows you to quick access, shopping bags, put in the back, look, family dog, it's great for that option. So you've got this window option here, followed by the door, allowing you to have a full open reach. Now, both sits with two hydraulics on both sides so never had the problem of it falling down and for me being my height great for grabbing here and shutting it with these it's it's that easy now in the back here 
what we like to do is we like to leave all our equipment wrapped up in a tow bar. This is actually the tongue. So obviously when you purchase a vehicle, remind me to ask the salesperson for the tongue and that plugs in down there. So I'll leave that down there for the moment. Now in the back here, we've got several things. This is called a rear cargo blind. What this allows us to do is secure our shopping so no one can obviously look into the vehicle, see what you got. Great for computers, laptops. And then there's a rear section of the blind that will clip in behind the seats, allowing visually from the back, looking in from once again from the back, looking through complete privacy, same as the sedan. So the Kia has done a lot of good advantages like that with this particular vehicle. Now I'll secure this. Quick, easy. Now this is a removable. So if you have a family dog or a pet, simply grab the outsides, squeeze them in. Very, very easy to be removed. Put that down there for the moment, the size of this. Now this offers you a large space capacity. There's several things which is great with this particular vehicle. There are positions here, here, now that allows you, and here, to put your shopping bags in there. A lot of people throw their bags in there, allowing shopping to go everywhere, and they thought about this in, in fine detail. Um, if you have children of young age, this is where they position to here or here. The vision's on both, both uh, spots provided. Um, what I like about this particular vehicle is on the left side here, if you want to zoom in, there is a, an outlet there which can be for a small car charger, something of small or lower, low voltage. Now, if I was to zoom in the back here, it offers you a full size spare. This is why this vehicle is already set up for long distance travel. If you're going away towing, there's nothing worse than these modern cars with the small tires. In some cases, it's a necessity, but this is working with a full size spare. Our vehicles all come with all the towing equipment. So it's all there. Now this one is called a, never been used before. This is your, your netting. So this sort of netting will go here to clip here. Any small animals, any shopping, nothing will fly through. That's an option, never been used before. All right, now for the interior of the vehicle. Keys are the most important thing to get the car started. What I'd like to show you is our cars come with two sets of keys and two remote controls. Now let me start it up for you so you can hear the sounds. As you can see, very, very quiet. Now the vehicle here shows on display of 64,669 kilometers. Turn the volume down there on the radio. Great sound system, mind you. Um, it comes with indicators on the right side with your cruise control features. Over here, it offers you a four speed automatic transmission with what they call a sports mode. That sports mode allows you to come up to a hill. If you feel you lose a bit of power, you can whack into an override control to your left which enables it to manually change through the gears. Once again, not all vehicles have the sports shift um, capacity. Now, if you're like me, you're an enthusiast on your, your music and sound system, this offers you a CD player, all built in as one, with AM, FM radio. It comes with the option of a climate control setup where you can adjust your cooling to your heating. Real simple things. Now, over this side here, uh, back to the steering wheel once again, you have your dual airbags available in the front. Um, over here, if you notice over here, it is an all-wheel drive option. So over here has your four-wheel drive with a sensor diff lock capacity. That means you're entitled to go off-road into a dir uh, dirty, sandy trek and actually have a bit of play with the vehicle. Um, great for when you're pulling up to a camping site or a caravan site and you find that there's a little bit of moisture on the ground, a bit wet, you engage the four-wheel drive component. All four wheels will move at the same time, allowing you to have maximum traction. Wonderful feature of the car. All right, now this gets towards the end of our presentation now. So I'd like to recap on a few things now. So this was a 2006 with 60,000 kilometers. It was the all-wheel drive V6 Kia Sportage. Now, with a such low mileage on this particular model, this car does qualify for extended warranties that can be up to five years, unlimited kilometers. So ask about that at the time of your, of the time of your purchase. All right, so now if you have any questions at all about this particular vehicle, Feel free to contact the salespeople at Berwick Mitsubishi on 9907 555. Thank you very much for your time.